this is the Dune Part 2 popcorn bucket. As usual, some disclosure, I purchased this popcorn bucket to make this review. I do get to keep it, some money changed hands, and Denis Villeneuve does not get any input on this video's production, nor get to preview it before it's posted. This video does not have an actual sponsor though, and that's actual popcorn. I bought this at my local cinema, and I paid 42 ringgit for it. For reference, a standard regular sized popcorn at the cinema costs roughly 12 ringgit. So for somewhere between three to four times the cost of a regular sized popcorn, you get this. And it doesn't come with popcorn. I had to pay extra to separately buy cinema popcorn. That's what's left of it. And they don't even serve it to you in a proper bucket. It, it's served to you in a regular drinks cup. You get a cup of popcorn and a popcorn bucket. And it fills up to like here, if you were to dump it in. Do I feel ripped off at first? Absolutely. Yes, I feel ripped off <laughs> buying this popcorn bucket. But then, after about two minutes or so, I began to realize who wouldn't pay good money to bring home this specimen of artistic cinema expressed in physical form. Like, this is the perfect depiction of Denis Villeneuve's vision. To be fair, this was manufactured with a little bit of effort, like the actual bucket itself. Oh, it's on real tight. There we go. The actual bucket itself has this sort of brass finish on the inside. And this isn't just one singular piece of something. You can see there's actually four screws on the back here. So this sort of, sort of rim around the actual orifice is, there are two separate parts. And there was some assembly required to put this together and put it into our hands. So 42 ringgit. My favorite part about the design of this popcorn bucket is the way it bears absolutely zero resemblance to any human body part or biological orifice at all. Like every time I see this, I'm instantly reminded of the dune sandworm and only that. It doesn't remind me of anything else. And this is just the perfect merchandise to fulfill all your weird fantasies. Like, have you ever wanted to see the sandworm from Dune swallow an X100V? There. Now this is fundamentally, however, a popcorn bucket. So I feel it's very important that I review the experience of eating popcorn out of this. And since it didn't come with popcorn, I have to actually put some popcorn in it. This is far superior than any popcorn I've ever had at any local cinema. And that should be enough. Cap goes on. And you would have to reach your hand in to procure a popcorn out of this, then consume it. The entire process is a very stimulating sensory experience. You either find it extremely uncomfortable or extremely sensual. Now you might wonder, won't you get bits of popcorn or butter caught on all these little bristle things? Well, I think it forms a good seal to keep the popcorn maybe 0.5% fresher throughout the course of the movie. This is addictive, but I believe the design of it never intended for the owner to clean it. It's like a good piece of leather. It develops in natural patina the more popcorn you consume out of this. So it's the gift that keeps on giving. Do I recommend anyone getting this for themselves? If you just want a popcorn bucket, then this isn't necessarily functionally superior. Anything that's bucket shaped, even this mug that I got from the cinema works better as a popcorn bucket. But if you want to own a piece of meme history, then go ahead and get yourselves one while they're still selling it. Happy April Fools, and I'll see you around.